So Gaffer, we're a few weeks without a game now, but that's not to say that lads haven't been putting in a lot of work, is it? Yeah, we've been working hard. You know, it's uh, it's give one or two. You know, the break's not ideal because obviously we, we want to play the games, but um, it's give one or two chance to recover because quite a few were were, were getting through games, um, and it's just given chance to to recover from uh, from the knocks we're carrying. And the others just give us a chance to do some, you know, get on the training ground and, and do some hard work, you know, trying to uh, trying to put some things right. Especially after such a, a busy start to the season, it sort of helps to have that little bit of a break to help those lads recover, as you say, and the little knocks. You haven't got to worry about rushing them back, have you? Yeah, it, it, you know, it's um, you know, I wanted I, I wanted us to to have a certain intensity to our play. But you know we were playing a lot of games, and you know, and then we're having to recover, and a lot of that you you know you do on the training ground, which gears you up for it. And we wasn't able to do the amount of training I wanted, or certainly the intensity that we wanted. We've been able to do that. You know, we haven't had everybody obviously because quite a few of them have have, have done recovery because um, you know, like I say, they were carrying knocks. But, but yeah, we're in a we're in a decent place. Um, Really looking forward now to, I think it's five games now in, in just over two weeks. So, you know, we go again. And having that break, as you, as you touched on, allows you to sort of work on things that maybe you wouldn't have as much time to work on otherwise if there was games coming thick and fast. Do you find that's an important part of this break as well to make the most of that? Yeah, yeah, we, you know, it, it, it's a fair comment. You know, we, we, uh, when you do certain parts of your training, you want to try and you know replicate what happens in games, and that's game tempo, you know, and, and certainly the times and and um, you know the periods in the game. We haven't been able to do some of that work because of um, you know we just a lot of it. You know the lads were were, were playing. We had so many games um, in certainly in August, and then you know we we, we didn't have obviously many bodies. So uh, that's that's always been a problem because um, you know trying to trying to sort that out, trying to trying to get the balance right, and um, I'm sure we've been able to hopefully do that. So part of that break has uh, been because three players, uh, Milan, Nori, and uh, Reese, away on international duty. How pleasing has that been to see them get that international recognition? Yeah, it's great. You know, um, obviously, you know, Reese and Milan went away last time. Nori's, uh, he, I think he went away when I first came in. Didn't go away the last one. And he's been called up for this one. Um, yeah, it's good for them. It's good. It's good for us at the club, you know, because um, you know to have three internationals um, with us. The one that's ones on loan, you know. But um, yeah, it's nice that the, you know it shows that certainly with Reese that you know he's improved, um, and certainly you know to keep getting the, the recognition and the, the call ups, you know, he's proven that he's, he's great detriment to him that he's playing well. Now going into another busy period, going from a, a period of no games in a few weeks now to another quite busy period, four games in 11 days. Um, that break also allows you to sort of prepare for all of those games equally, doesn't it, rather than having to sort of rush through, sort of give, take your time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've got a real tough period, you know, the, 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 you know, the games have been quite hard anyway, you know, what we've played, but certainly the next games coming up, you know, the Farsley game, you know, followed by the Kings Lynn. Um, which are two teams that are up there, and then followed by the Darlington, York, and Gateshead. So you know five teams there that are doing really well. Five really tough games. Quite a bit of travelling to do in between. Yeah, it's, it, like everything else, it's a challenge, but um, a challenge that we're you know we're, we're looking forward to.